Hey guys. So today we're gonna do um, a quick video on some pollinators. We got some bees and they're leaf cutter bees. Um, so one of the things we're trying to do is we are trying to make sure we add a good biological mix that's appropriate to the space in here. Um, we do have some pest insects, so we started adding uh, predatory insects like ladybugs and lacewings and some predatory mites. And uh, it's been about a week and they're doing their job. I gotta say, um, you know, I'm noticing a lot of stuff starting to pare down. Uh, we'll never completely eliminate them probably. Um, well, almost definitely, but we should be able to get them under control. So um, now I wanna uh, take a quick second to let everybody know that as I do these videos, uh, I am not an expert. I'm not an expert on plants. I'm not an expert on any of the, the pollinating insects. Uh, we're doing this project as a community project here in Boise, Idaho, and it's mostly to learn. Um, and also as more and more people get involved, uh, hopefully we get some experts that'll come in here and, and give us a little bit more information and I can learn. Um, I know through a couple of videos I've already misna uh, misnamed some plants. Um, I'm trying my best to look those up and make sure that I learn what they are, but uh, some of you may be cringing the, the moment I point at something, you would be like, that is not what that is. So you're more than welcome to call me out on that. I'm not gonna cry, at least not on camera. Um, so totally fine with that. It's a learning experience for me. Um, so I wanted to uh, let you guys know that when I did the, the pollinators uh, research, I reached out to a company that I chose. Um, it's called uh, masonbeesforsale.com. And uh, I just wanted to make sure that when, before I ordered anything that I got an appropriate type of insect and I didn't order anything that would be um, you know, die in here or uh, just not, excuse me, not be able to survive. So I reached out to them and they said leaf cutter bees were our best bet. And uh, we could just order the reeds like we've got here. And these are the little houses. And uh, each one, um, the leaf cutters have laid eggs in. And so these are the eggs and uh, the larvas, subsequently the larvas, which will then hatch into the dome and there's enough flowers in here for the very small number of bees that will come out of these. We ordered 10 of these. I think there's three in each, so maybe 30 insects if everything hatches, probably less than that. So uh, we shouldn't have an, uh, too many bees in here for the amount of uh, foliage we have and the amount of flowers. They are leaf cutters, so we do expect them to nibble on the, the leaves to make their homes and that'll look like a uh, it, well, it is an insect chewing on the leaves and kind of look a little ratty. Don't care. Uh, the whole space is supposed to be more of a balance. That's how it is in nature. So if people don't like poor aesthetics because there's something chewing on the leaves, this isn't the best space for them to come into. So uh, one of the things I wanted to do too is I wanted to make sure I had a little house for them to start off. So I got this little house. This does not have any um, eggs in it, and uh, these are all empty and available for them to hatch out and choose to lay their eggs into, so this will give them a little starter space, um, whatever is appropriate to the amount of uh, bees this will support in the dome for the amount of flowers that are blooming to be able to lay eggs in here. So I'm gonna mount this uh, a little bit above me here. It's not evident on the camera because it's way up about out of the, the watering line, the sprinkler line up there, but it is south facing, which they recommend. Um, maybe not uh, totally necessary in here, but they say south facing and I'm gonna put it south facing. Uh, it'll allow them some heat and uh, of course, uh, a lot of light as it comes in. So that will be the purpose of today is getting this installed. And then I'm gonna take some of these out so I can put these in and then keep a few of these in reserve in a, in a cooled cabinet so I can replace them as they hatch out because these tend to get a little dirty, a little uh, danky and uh, not the best for reuse uh, for the health of the bees. Something new is, is usually recommended. Um, one thing I also wanted to make sure people knew when we are putting this stuff in here as these do require in addition to leaves, uh, leaves that they're, they're gonna harvest and I'm assuming they'll probably go after the passiflora is uh, mud, um, specifically clay. So, and that's because they're gonna harvest that and of course pack it in and make their home. So um, the ground here is mostly clay where we haven't amended it to build the flower beds and it is wet at all times. It does rain in this dome. We have a watering system that just blasts water all over the living walls and keeps things pretty wet. So there's no uh, danger of having a lack of, of clay soil and of mud for these guys to use so that they can continue to thrive and be happy. 
So with that said, I'm going to do a little bit of work, uh, and I will resume filming uh, or chatting with you after I'm able to kind of show you what I've put together and where they are, and uh, then maybe do a little bit more of a tour of what's in bloom, because there's a lot of stuff in bloom today. So um, I'll be back to you guys in just a minute. Oops. So finally someone else in the video, so I'm not the only person in here. Uh, <laughs> you guys are probably starting to get suspicious that I'm the only one doing these videos and I call it a community project. So this he is the only one. This is <laughs> the version that ate the version of him. This is, uh, despite his assertion I'm a clone, this is Keith. Uh, Keith is my brother, actually. And he's putting up the screw for, um, for the beehive. Did you get it in? Yep. Oh, awesome. So let's get the, the house. And while you're doing that, but I've been working on it for years and years trying to get so we're mounting it on this bromeliad tree, and it may be a little crooked. We may not be able to do it at a good angle. We'll see. Oh, are they all going to fall out? That. <laughs> It kind of stays in. Do you think that's too crooked? They won't care, but if those reeds fall out while they're, yeah. I, I think the only thing that's gonna could possibly make a difference is like the vibration. I don't trust the vibration because all your air flows. Yeah. Well, we can always adjust it. I can put a braided cable and kind of lift it up, you know, over the top too. When they were only meant to last twenty years. So Morgan absolutely did not want to be in the video, so naturally I'm videoing him. And then there's Mike. <laughs> yeah, so we're all kind of in here. We're just putting the bees up and I'm um, pretty excited. Um, again, this is Keith, and he's doing a little bit of modification on where to put the hive. Or the house, I guess. It's not really a hive, but... Yeah, yeah. I'm trying not to work so much as I did. Like, I so we're putting the... Money. So we adjusted it. Really it's now facing and it's not crooked. It's just so you can feel safe about how that went in. And we'll add the little, the reeds and stop hiding over there. <laughs> uh, Morgan. <laughs> I do not. I didn't say this video is for children. I did not say this video is for children. So the fact that he's flipping us off over there that guy <laughs> yeah so um we're gonna put the the actual eggs in that box and then I don't know how long it takes to hatch I think uh, up to like two weeks um, so between a day and, and 14 days so we'll keep an eye on them and I'll keep an eye out for anything that's hatching and flying around in here and we'll see how they do my hope is I'm gonna reverse the camera so it's gonna be a little bit of a blip so as far as food goes, here's some of the passiflora, for example, and that's actually blooming quite prolifically around here. You can see there's more, and there's some purple, and it's kind of all over the place. And there's plenty of other stuff in here as well. A lot of the orchids are in bloom, and so we're hoping that even though um, I'm sure they will do better with even more in bloom, and I've planted a whole bunch of uh, just shade flowers, kind of gratuitous shade flowers uh, in the back, um, we're hoping that they uh, will pollinate these orchids and anything that they can kind of um, find that's in bloom. So they may prefer certain things, and uh, we'll see, but I want to make sure they have ample food. Hey, so Alicia is here. Say hi. hi. <laughs> and Alicia has uh, actually just moved back, and so she's going to be doing some social media stuff too. I'm trying to get her to do videos, so we'll see how that works out. Um, but I kind of want to make sure that it's not just me in these videos. You understand this is a community project. There are more people that don't want to be in videos that I'll put in them. Um, that way you understand like a little bit more about 
uh, not only the importance to the community, but there are a lot of people that are slowly getting more and more involved in the impact that it makes because it's important. All right, so that gives us a pretty good idea of what's in the dome. Um, and we're kind of showing uh, this last little bit is just a bunch of flowers and um, that's kind of been mixed in. So you get a good sense of the food supply and that should uh, get bigger and bigger as more and more things are added in bloom. Um, I do want to let you know that we don't use any pesticides, which is why we have the beneficial insects. And so everything in here is biologically balanced and uh, won't harm the, the new addition. Um, if you uh, like these videos and you like the project, please uh, consider supporting us. This is a community project and the more support we have, the more we can do. And we have some grandiose plans that actually should expand this project quite a bit. It's in its beginning stages and there's a lot more to come. So. Hopefully this has been a fun video for you to see.